Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's England versus France. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. The last four places up for grabs here. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Ipamecano in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. Oh, breezing past him. Harry Kane! And fine goalkeeping. Now with Henderson, can they forge ahead? And up for grabs off the keeper. Henderson, Rice, Foden. Oh, did so well to deny him. Mbappe. Now with Benzema. Mbappe. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display for oh, them so far. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Mbappe's finish. His goal. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so clearly, it's a fantastic strike. Space on the flank. He's in behind. Can they cover up? Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Foden. The supporters want to see him have a go. This could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike.
just the challenge that was required. Well, no stopping him. And it's played into the centre. Couldn't grab hold of it. And Bellingham. Opportunity to deliver the cross. When you see this again, I think the goalkeeper is very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. And he has options available. Incisive pass from Mbappe. And a goalkeeper in great form. And a short corner, let's see. Defending for Meccano. Oh, maybe the equalizer. Superb stop. Chance to attack using wit. And players waiting in the center. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. There goes the whistle. And a semi-final is guaranteed for England. Well, the quality of their forward play was excellent. They created so many chances and scored some really good goals. But I don't think they'd be happy with their defending. They made some poor mistakes and that would need to be rectified before the next round. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.